What's going on, everybody? Thank you all for joining me today. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit the like button because that's the most important thing you can do for me on this channel. What it does is that helps make sure that those who are subscribed to the channel will indeed get their notifications, and it also helps to push this video through the YouTube algorithm as well. Secondly, if you're new to the channel or maybe you've been ghost watching this channel for quite some time now, please do me a favor and yourself a favor by hitting the subscribe button as well as the bell notification next to the subscribe button so you can be notified whenever I release a new video. And lastly, please make sure you share this video out on your social media platforms to your family and friends to inform them on this news and information and yes that does help to give me a slight boost in the youtube algorithm as well and with the introduction out of the way let's get into today's news and today uh we are headed back to the border we're headed back to the border because recently not too long ago border patrol agents exposed the fact that joe biden's executive order to stem the ties of illegal immigration is a sham he exposed that, or I shouldn't just say him, it was a, quite a few of them that held a press conference at the border, and the Border Patrol agents just told the truth about what's really going on and how the executive order isn't really working the way you all would like to think that it is, though yes, technically the numbers are going down. Realistically, the illegal immigrants are still coming into the country. So let's get into this clip right now first. It's a little over two minutes. I want to let it play in its entirety first, and then we'll get back into the discussion but let's hear what these border patrol agents had to say infantson and i'm the executive vice president of the national border patrol council uh thank you to speaker johnson and representative isa for coming here again to see the border once again with their own eyes because there's no substitute for being here in person uh, the men and the women of the border patrol continue to be in this precarious position they're stuck between their desire to do the job that they were trained to do and the white house's policies that prevent them from doing that job uh, the president's executive order last month uh, is being touted as a success because the number of encounters by the border patrol have decreased and, and that's right fewer people are being encountered by the border patrol uh, between the ports of entry but that's not the whole story because instead of crossing illegally between the ports asylum seekers many of whom are only seeking to abuse the system are now primarily showing up at ports of entry and airports so uh, so much so that customs officers in june encountered more asylum seekers than the Border Patrol did. Uh, so essentially, the only thing that's changed since the executive order went into effect is that the processing is happening in a different place. Customs officers have their own jobs to do, and many of them can't because now they are having to do the same processing uh, that Border Patrol agents have been doing for years and continue to do. So this isn't just a Border Patrol issue now, now it's all of CBP. And while fewer asylum seekers between the ports does get some agents back into the field, uh, there's still far too many of them stuck indoors processing, both on the southwest border and the northern border. We still have hundreds of known gotaways every day disappearing into the country. Uh, and actually, since the executive order went into place, we're seeing an average of about 2,500 gotaways every week. Uh, and for the most part, these gotaways are people who know that they wouldn't be able to use the asylum system to enter for one reason or another, uh, including those that have a criminal history and know that they would get in more trouble if uh, they're taken into custody. Assaults on agents continue because people are illegally entering knowing that this is uh, a, a unique chapter uh, along the border and, and they don't know if this is their only chance to enter. Uh, knowing that all they have to do is get past that agent that's standing in their way. So some of them fight. Uh, we're grateful that there are still some in the House and Senate that are willing to come to the border again and again to, to see and shed some light on uh, basically what's happening here because even today, the issue of border security sometimes takes a backseat to, to some other news. Uh, but day in, day out, uh, 24 hours a day, agents are here dealing with this. And while I'm glad that some agents are back in the field actually doing their job, far too many are still handcuffed by the White House's policies. And, you know, what he said is true. You know, um, you know, border security uh, and the news just surrounding the migrant crisis overall, um, it has really taken a back seat, you know, in light of the RNC convention that happened. What was it last month now, I believe? Um, and then now we have the Democratic National Convention that's going to be happening, I believe, what, within a week and a half from now all of the hoopla surrounding Biden basically getting ousted by his own party, replaced with Kamala Harris. And then you have this extreme, super liberal, progressive Tom, Tim Walls. That's now her vice president. There's all the news that comes out about him. There's J.D. Vance chasing Kamala Harris around because Kamala Harris doesn't want to speak to the press. There's so much going on. But yet this migrant crisis is still happening. It's still happening. 
This is still going on. They're still crossing illegally. Gotaways are still coming through. Migrant crime is still an issue in these sanctuary cities and in cities that are not sanctuary cities as well. And no one is really talking about this stuff anymore. That's why it's important, at least I feel for myself, for someone like me to make sure to stay on top of this, uh, even though it's not necessarily the most popular thing to do anymore right now for the moment. Now, what I want to do to complement what this man was speaking about here, the Border Patrol agent, I want to take a moment to highlight the fact that this isn't something that has come out of nowhere uh, concerning the Border Patrol agents speaking out against the Harris-Biden administration we'll call it, right? Uh, granted that, you know, given that Harris is the one that's running for president now, and she, you could, maybe you could argue she has always been running things, you know, with the way Biden has been looking as of late, or I should say, since he's been in office. But in all seriousness, this tension between Border Patrol agents and the Harris-Biden administration has been in place and has been going on pretty much since the moment they entered into office. Uh, it wasn't that long ago, actually at the top of this year, uh, when Biden went to go visit the border. And upon going to visit the border, Border Patrol agents, I believe the Border Patrol Union to be exact, essentially told him to stay where you are. Matter of fact, don't even speak on us because you're clearly not serious about securing the border. Here's this article here titled, Keep Our Name Out of Your Mouth. Border Patrol Union slams Biden for avoiding problem areas on Texas trip. And I'll just give you a few cliff notes from this article, but I will leave the link in the description box below so that you can read it for yourself. But it reads, uh, the Border Patrol Union warned President Biden to keep our name out of your mouth in a statement ahead of his planned visit to the border on Thursday, Biden is set to visit Brownsville, Texas on Thursday, where he will meet with Border Patrol, law enforcement and local leaders. The union retracted, excuse me, I should say the union reacted critically to Biden ahead of his planned visit on Thursday, which the group called too little too late. Attention, President Biden, keep our name out of your mouth. The group wrote on the post on X. So this is the Border Patrol Union, the union. So essentially what we're talking about is all Border Patrol agents spoke out against Biden, even speaking on what's going on at the border because he was completely unserious. And if Biden was unserious, how much more unserious do you believe or do you think Kamala Harris, the border czar will be? Do you think she'll be as serious as Biden? Or will she be even more ridiculous? I think we can go with the latter if she's elected into office. It's more than safe to say that if Kamala Harris is elected president with Vice President Tim Walls, what we will see is a reopening of the border to the tune of another 10 to 15 million illegal immigrants pouring into the country. But I got but I digress. Let's get back to the article. Border Patrol are so upset about the president's visit because he's not going to any location where he's going to be able to evaluate what he needs to do. Union President Brandon Judd said during an appearance on Fox News, the past three years are all on him, Judd said. And I just want to take a moment to kind of just reshape what he stated. I want to make a correction on Judd's behalf. The past three years is all on her, Kamala Harris, who was and still is the border czar, regardless of the rewriting of history that mainstream media is trying to do concerning her role in the migrant crisis. She was and still is the border czar. These last three years are on her. Now, let's get into this video clip here to round this out, just to hear what he had to say uh, directly coming from his mouth. Let's jump into this right now. The reason why Border Patrol agents let me rewind it back just a little bit and take it from the top. 
what we expected. And the reason why Border Patrol agents are so upset about this visit is because he's not going to any location where he's going to be able to evaluate what he needs to do. What are the policies? What are the programs that need to go into place? And he's not going to be able to do that in Brownsville. If he would have went to San Diego, if he would have went to Tucson, if he would have come out here to Eagle Pass, if he would have went to the trouble locations, um, he would have been able to get get a little bit uh, more understanding and evaluate the situation to come up with it. He's not going to do that. He can't do that. He's repeatedly said that he doesn't have executive authority to control this. And if he turned around and he did something today, then everybody would would recognize that the past three years are all on him. Are all on him is what he was going to say, but unfortunately it cut off. The past three years are all on him and an executive order did pass. And as we saw the border patrol agents said as of last week, the executive order really isn't doing much. It's not doing much. It's not doing much at all. It's all it did was reroute the way in which illegal immigrants are coming into the country, but it's not stopping the flow. It's not stopping at all. And like I said, this beef between the Harris Biden administration and the Border Patrol and the Border Patrol Union, this has been going on for three to four years now. This has been happening really uh, since the beginning of Biden Harris entering into office. Um, and it doesn't seem to be letting up anytime soon. It doesn't seem to be letting up anytime soon. They clearly and definitely uh, do not have the support of the Border Patrol Union, which they shouldn't. And they also shouldn't they also shouldn't have the support of the American people as well. And with all that being said, that does it for today's news. So thank you for watching. Please hit the like button on your way out. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. Share this video out on your social media platforms to your family and friends. And inform them on this new information. And also don't forget to follow me on Telegram and Rumble. Both my Rumble and Telegram links are in the description box below. And will be pinned in the comment section as well. Thank you all for your time. And until the next video, peace. And have a great afternoon.